Well, the league is finally underway. We got a league matchup today, and we got a Copa de Brazil matchup. Let's get into it. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Today, we're starting off in the league. We're going up against Fortaleza. Then we got the fifth round of the Copa de Brazil against Grêmio. Uh, really excited about these two matchups. I think they should be a fun time. Grêmio, uh, we played them a couple times last season. They stayed up. Fortaleza, the same situation. They was in the league last year. Should be really fun. The next episode, we're going to finish up the fifth round. I don't know if we're going to be playing this game or this game paired with the Grêmio uh, second leg matchup. So that should be a fun time. I hadn't even picked my lineup, guys. I am way behind. We've looked good since our last match. I think it was this one. We went out, uh, won 3-3 three three against Sao Paulo, 6-0 in the next matchup, 2-1 to one against Santos. Then we did rectify the draw against Atletico Nacional in the la final match of the group stage of the Copa Libertadores, and we won that one 2-1. to one. We're going to hopefully carry on our winning ways in these next couple matches. I'm excited. You guys are excited. Let's get into it. I still haven't picked which goalkeeper I like, by the way. In case you guys was wondering, no idea. Uh, both of them make mistakes. Romero is only putting out a 6.5. I think Piero is going to get the start definitely today. Romero's kind of been a little bit of a slump. He has played some good teams, though. He has played some good teams. So I kind of just want to like, hey, you're good. You're good, man. You're still going to get game time, I promise. But we're going to start the league off with Piera in goal in this match. Let's see what we want to do. I really don't want Vanderson up top. I would prefer it be Renan or our guy uh, Santana. So we're going to put Renan up top. I mean, I think I'm okay with that uh, Gallo. Uh, let's put Gallo in there. They don't have a real good partnership, and I would like them to work it out. Hopefully they will. Who do we want to bring on from the bench up? Sergio has fell off, guys. I uh, really liked this guy at the start of this this uh, when we joined this club. But he's fell down the depth charts. Tulio has took over that number two role. We're going to bring Maximo up. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm pretty good with that. Oh, I did find this other Henrique. Not this one. That's, that's the Sir. He's a uh, can play on the right-hand side. I kind of like him. Played pretty good in one match I played him in. Uh, hopefully he'll see some game time as well this season. I'm just looking to see if I want to change anything. I don't really see anything I want to do. I do. I actually do see something I want to change. I want to get, I want to get Alvareno out. He's dead to us at this point. Uh, Salou, he's coming in. Alvareno is going to the bench or going out of the match squad. Uh, Sergio, I'll put you in there. Can my boy Diego, is he fit? This is what we're doing. This is the lineup we got. We got Pierre in goal. Back four of Marcelo, Martinez, Gallo, and Wallace Felipe. In the middle, we got Salou and Diego. On the right-hand side, we got Fernando. In the middle, we got Pedro Lucas. Left-hand side, Tulio. And up top, we got Renan. Should be a fun match. I'm excited. I've said that a couple times now. Oh, by the way, maybe by the time you see this, you might want to go to the, I think it's the About page in uh, on YouTube on my channel where you can have like the channels, like, hey, check out these channels. Might be starting the Pokemon channel pretty soon that I wanted to do. Uh, just got to work out some stuff before we get into that. And if you're if you're interested in it, go ahead and subscribe and watch those videos. Not, no big deal. It's uh, two totally different markets. It's just something that I'm interested in. I want to go back into do, doing that like I used to a couple of years ago. I had a really good time with it. But that's going to be the end of that discussion. Just, just know that I'm not going to pressure you guys into, into subscribing to that channel. But if you are interested, it is going to be available in the next couple of days, I'm hoping. Meanwhile, in the game, it's the first 20 minutes. No score. We get a little bit of a highlight with Diego kicking a free kick. It wasn't really threatening. I hope that's not the highlight. Gallo brings this ball down, plays it over to Salou. Moving up to Fernando. I want to see a little bit more from Fernando. You know, we signed him last year. Extended his contract, and, and this season it's kind of been a letdown. Diego, okay, that was a kind of a. I really I want to see Gallo step up as well. I, I want that to be our middle, you know, our center back duo this year. I want it to be Gallo and Martinez. 
They haven't worked the best together. Gallo picking up an injury really didn't help out the squad. So, yeah, like I said, I think that's our best options that we have together. And sprinkle in a little bit of Jow, Daniel, Clebson, and the Sir in there. I think we got really good center backs. We just got to figure out what partnership we like. And I, I personally like Gallo's attributes a little bit better than the rest of them. And his height doesn't hurt. Pedro Lucas loses this ball. He held on to it way too long, trying to make something happen, and couldn't figure it out. Now Fortaleza looking to counter here. They're wanting to go up. They hadn't had a shot all game. Felipe trying to get a tackle in there to stop this. Uh-uh. First touch shot, and it's not really a challenge. Kind of a weird matchup we had. We've had 10 shots to their one, and we haven't got anything going for it. Pay, uh, Wallace Felipe has picked up a little bit of an injury. Uh, we're going to pump the fist. We've been the much better team. Just keep it up. I'm going to go ahead and take Felipe off. I don't want him to get an, an actual injury. Question is, do we bring on... You know, it is a nil-nil game, and they haven't really been attacking, and Denny can play as a left back. But we're going to play him as a left back on attack, trying to play a little bit on that left hand. So let's focus. I'd prefer, whoop. I'd prefer, prefer to focus on that left hand side with Denny over there. I think that's going to be our best option. As good as Marcelo's been this season. As I've said before, it's all been in the Rio State, though, so it's kind of hard to judge his ability at this point. Fernando playing this over to Lucas, back to Diego, who gets it into Fernando. We talked about him earlier, trying to needing to step up a little bit. He doesn't there. He, he, he stands out a little bit, but just doesn't, can't finish the shot, which is a bit of a disappointment. I'm hoping bringing Denny on with that, with that left back role can really help out Tulio at moving the ball forward. We said focus down the left, and we're focusing down the right on the two highlights that we've seen which is not what I really wanted to, wanted to happen. Fernando's cutting this ball inside. He's got Tulio. He's got Ren, and he opts to take a long shot. But this has been an odd one, guys. This has definitely been an odd one. You think by now with the amount of shots we've had, we might would have had something. Ren picking up an injury. He's, he's immediately coming off. I don't want him to get hurt. Santana has came on in some of these roles where we've uh, ran and hadn't looked the best and has, has scored in a couple of these matchups. So I'm hoping that's the case here. Don't know if it will happen. But that's what we're going to hope for. Pedro Lucas looking a little bit tired as well. This match might be a draw because of some of the stuff that's happened in the game with Santana getting hurt or with Renan getting hurt. Tulio with the ninth goal of the season. 1-0 late in the match. Great stuff. Great stuff. Tulio is going to be a really good player for us. I'm really excited about that kid. That left-handed, that left-hand side, it's going to be fine. We're making our final change. Pedro Lucas is going to come out. I want to put in a defensive midfield, and that would be Clebson. We've got the lead. Might as well try hanging on to it. We do have a couple of defensive-minded center mids in there right now, alongside Clebson, who is a defensive mid and center back option that we have. I think that might really secure it up. I say that, and this is what happens. That that is that's how this match has been. We've been the much better side. Things you hate to see. I mean, I guess we go very attacking right now. I would like to drop some encouragement on the guys as well because they've they've been good. They've they've played well. Unfortunately, I just don't think we're, that the FM gods wanted us to win this match. Diego's playing it over to Sulu, who's moving it up to Santana, who had one brief opportunity, beats a tackle here, takes the shot, is caught by the goalkeeper. Santana can create opportunities by himself, and that's what I really like about him. Yep, got FM'd in that one, guys. We played really well. Uh, I guess we'll say I'm not happy with the performance, even though I really was. Brennan, come on, dude. I don't know. We got the Copa de Brazil fifth round matchup right now against Grêmio. Squad we're putting out there. I don't ever check it after I hit quick pick, and we have to make changes afterwards. I kind of want Diego to be in this matchup. I'm good with Jao Guerrero playing in here. Uh, I guess this is what we're going to go with. I'm okay with it. Renan is hurt for this match, so he is out. 
this is the lineup we got we got romario in goal we got a back four of eduardo martinez gallo and jelton in the midfield we got guerrero and diego right hand side pinero's coming in the squad vanderson in the middle left hand side denny and up top nunez santana making the start it was a really tough decision between him and pinero so i decided why not have both of them on the pitch instead I don't want to go a little bit more positive in this matchup. I've been playing a little bit balanced. Uh, so kind of want to see what doing a little bit of positive will do with the side. We're going to outstretch the arms. Nope, we're going to pump the fist. Been on a good run. Keep it up. Yeah, if he if he you know if he decides to play a little bit better, he has a lot of a lot of opportunities. Romero's just <laughs> I do believe it's. I believe it's all there for Romero. I believe he's got all the potential in the world to be a really good player for us. We've just got to get him on a good, a good, uh, good solid run of games. And I and I think this back four can do it for him. Help him out a little bit with it. Guerrero brings us down, gets it over to Denny. Got a good opportunity to really do something right there, but just chose to hang on to it and play it back to Vanderson, who gets it to Gallo. Playing a little bit slow right now. I'd like to see us try moving a little bit more. Vanderson gets the ball up to Denny again. Over to Jelton. Hangs on to it. These are those weird highlights to me where it's just like not a lot has really happened, so you're just kind of expecting somebody to make a run or to turn the ball over like that. That's that's another option. I mean, it's not the option that I would preferred, but and then Gallo missing ahead of Romero getting beat. We go down one nil early. That was that was poor by the defense right there. The missed head. Oh, Gallo, man, you got you got to get that dude. You're the that, that. See, like he, he should be docked more than like. Well, Romero needs to be docked because I think I think Romero has the quality to be a good player, but Gallo, his his rating needs to be docked a little bit before that, and that's why I've had trouble with with this partnership with Gallo and Martinez. New, Santana, ooh, 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 that kid's got talent. He does. I know he's only a two-star player for us right now, but in the first leg of the of the Copa de Brazil, I'm willing to give him a chance to see if because like I don't see us getting blown out to the point where we're not going to be able to make up for it in the next mat, the next leg. But I think that kid has all the talent. I think he has all the potential to be a starter for us when when Renan leaves, being a mixture between Pinero and Santana. We just gotta get Santana into some more of these games in the in the league and the Copa de Brazil. Everybody's looking so sad out there. Why we got so many upset guys? I know we're down one nil, but it wasn't it wasn't crazy. It's still early, guys. Let's go. Denny kicking this in, looking for Martinez. Can't get it under control. It's over the top. We can find Martinez. We can definitely find him. He just a lot of times doesn't finish, which is kind of need him to do in that situation. Vanderson. Gets it over to Jelton. Gets it over to Diego. Back to Jelton. Over to Guerrero. Plays it all the way back. Really dangerous pass right there. Gallo maintained possession. Gets it over to Pinero to Santana. It's played back. Ooh, I don't like this highlight. I don't like it at all. It seems like we're being a little bit risky with it. Denny. Okay, I do like this highlight. Scratch that. It's his eighth of the season. Vanderson on the assist. One to one in the 31st minute. Got some food coming on my way, guys. I'm ready to ready to eat been on a bit of a diet here lately uh trying to lose some weight and i got some fajitas coming to the house tonight and i'm excited about it it's from our favorite mexican place that we found in virginia so far ready to chow down gallo with the ball now gets it over to vanderson plays it up to diego to denny who takes the long shot really really impressed with the that it was that close Santana's not having the best games, and either is Panero, which is kind of a, a worrisome thing right now because those are our two striking options. I had kind of debated if if Santana wasn't having a good game, moving Renan up or moving Panero up top. Panero, he he's also struggling out there as well, so it's a bit a little bit of a disappointing thing right now for the side. And Gallo with that that missed head, that was just awful. Panero gets the ball here, plays it over to Diego. Ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Help us out. Hold that red up. Hold that beautiful red card up. Send him off. All right, we're going to go very attacking in the next half. I'll go ahead and tell you guys that. 
you, if you guys didn't know that's what we was going to do. I'm going to outstretch the arms. Uh, happy with performance so far. Okay. I don't really agree with the assistant manager on that, but he seems to know a little bit more than I do. I want to see some attack going, guys. I want just non-stop, relentless pressure on that goalkeeper and that back four that they have. Vanderson taking this corner, trying to get it to Mark Martinez. Is he is he that bad? I mean, like I thought he had really good. He's got okay. I mean, I mean, he's not that bad. Just every time with him, I mean, he gets he he wins the head. And just always sells it over the top. It's, I think it's because he's too tall. That's what we're going to say anyway. Santana plays this into Panero. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Panero, you did him dirty right there. We go up 2-1 to one in the 56th minute. Santana on that assist. Watch this, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here. Just did the man dirty. 2-1 to one now. We're looking good now. I'm, I'm happy with the score. Hey, we're we're fine, guys. I feel like we're going to have a good... Uh... Okay, making sure Martinez brings that down. But I feel like we're, uh, we're going to have a good fifth round now after this sending off. I'd like to add to the score, give, them, give us a little bit more of a gap in the, in the second leg. That's, that's definitely the thing we want to do. Martinez gets us forward to Guerrero. Plays it over to Panero, who has the one of the goals. Denny Anderson. Ooh. Not sure how Vanderson can't get that in. I'm sorry, if I had that guy's name, I would just have to change or I'd have that if I if I had that goalkeeper, I would just change his name to Orlando. Because I would be I would be struggling with that one, guys. Uh oh. Uh uh. Hey. 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 Let us settle down, guys. Okay, so we need to make a change in the midfield, I feel like. Um, Diego is going to come off. Prefer to keep him on, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Rildo is coming on. As you guys know, I do like Rildo a lot. So we're going to give him an opportunity. Um, Guerrero, I want to move him up top. Salou coming on as well. Doing a little swapsy with those guys. I think that's what we're going to do. I think Guerrero will help out a little bit more up top or in the attacking center. I'm, I'm really disappointed we haven't got another goal, guys. I'm, I'm, I really want another goal. I didn't mean to put Alvarino on, by the way. I, I went for Tulio. See if that can do anything these last 10 minutes, putting Denny in the back on a little bit more of an attack roll with Tulio. I'd like I'd like one more goal. I'd feel a lot more comfortable going into the next the, the second leg with a two goal lead. Not like this. Eduardo. Did that go out? I guess not. Okay. Plays that up to Panero. We got, we got the attack going now. Guerrero with the ball. He's got the attack in front of him. He plays it into Salou. Fourth of the season for him. Guerrero on the assist. We got 3-1, to one, which is what we wanted. We wanted a two-goal lead. Now we have it. Now we just got to finish this match out, not let them score again. I don't know why I skipped it. That, that was a nice little play. I should have let should have watched it. But, you know. Still waiting for the food. Apparently, it's on the way. On the way. Ooh. <laughs> Romero getting tested there a little bit. I like to see that from the young man. I want to see that rating get up a little bit too, though. Real though, kicking a corner in here. Nobody can get their head on that one. Tulio brings it down, though. He takes the shot. Not really, of a, not really contesting the goalkeeper there. Contest not. Not really testing the goalkeeper. Uh-uh. Not like this. Gallo making a nice little play there. Making up for the mistake he had earlier, which allowed the goal. 
Okay, there's the final whistle. We're happy with that three to one lead, carrying a two goal lead into the next leg. Outstretched arms, very happy with the result and the way you played. Feels good to finally be back in the league. We need to start putting some wins together. I do not want the same start we had last year. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.